Okay, I'm recording. So, you know, to give a little bit of context, and I'll get back into this again. Um, basically, there's been a lot of growth in the project over the last month. And what I've been working on is how we can then prepare for like the next uh, phase of growth and to better manage things like who is working on what, who is helping, who is, um, you know, uh, you know, what, what's the daily progress like, um, communication, moderation, all that kind of stuff. And also kind of like leading to a roadmap for how this can actually truly become decentralized and autonomous. So I'll be presenting some stuff related to, you know, some automation work I've been doing. Um, so let's just begin and, uh, let me make sure. Okay. Actually, let me get this uh, other view. All right. So, uh, calling this DAO V2, you know, like, um, just kind of building a system where, um, reiterating what I said, hyper growth, more messages, information fatigue. You know, there's, um, you can kind of see at this point, it went from maybe around 10K messages per day to over 90K. And that's kind of led to a natural unbundling of more channels. And that's like more things to monitor. It kind of leads to like information overload, right? Yeah, um, and this is just Discord. And, you know, it's like you can check in and in an hour, it's like a whole different conversation sometimes. So we do have some bots, you know, like Rickbot, for example. Uh, he has a summarization feature that kind of acts like a speed bump for our brain to help process what the conversation was about for like the past hour or so. The thing is, you have to be present in order to manually invoke it and it doesn't really get logged anywhere you know discord itself is kind of like a dark pool uh you know where traditional forums they're publicly indexed um you know if you ask questions on stack overflow you can get into the next training cycle if you do stuff on github as well that's really much easier to be actionable but things get lost in discord all the time so my solution, and I um, mentioned this last week, uh, chat rooms move too fast for people to keep up with. And to solve this common issue, um, I'm working on using LLMs to summarize. Yes, it's being recorded. I'm using LLMs to summarize daily chat logs per channel, working group, and the server to extract insights about frequently asked questions, who is helping who, action items, daily progress, Things like that. Let's get into why. Well, with this automation in a loop, we can remove human bias, misaligned incentives, and add more transparency, thus more trust into the mix. This also leads to progressive automation of the DAO. We can keep people updated more easily because you know we move very fast. And you'll see later that this can also help us to gamify open source developments because we're using LLMs. We can extract insights about who's contributing value outside of GitHub. And this is kind of really what the blockchain space is about, right? You know, like not trusting like just humans in a loop of making decisions. And this is what like AI16Z, the original vision is about you know, being led by AI agents. And so laying down the pipelines and the framework for us to get there. And so at a high level, this is how it works. And I've got this in a private GitHub repo and I'll dive into each of these parts next. Um, I'm taking Discord uh, chat from every channel, like public slash working groups, uh, and then I'm creating a compact version of who was engaging that day, as well as their roles. And the roles part is very interesting. We'll get to that later. You know how like some conversations about certain topics might not always be contained in that one channel? You know, sometimes you might be talking, 
people do it all the time. You know, they might be um, talking about merch and discussions. You know, ideas pop up everywhere. You know, in the water cooler channel, for example. So we're gonna lean more into roles, which also we're gonna get to with uh, Hats Protocol later. Um, but yeah, uh, this also helps to like these chat logs get really big, so it helps us to fit it into uh, context windows. Uh, so yeah, every day we get uh, an export and then we summarize it uh, using open source local models. This is running Olama um, and I'm using Langchain uh, with Phi3, uh, the 14 build model, and it works pretty great. Um, instruct, by the way. And so what I'm doing with this template, and we can, and I'd love to explore some other templates. Uh, we'll get into that with special projects next. But from the Discord chat log, we get a summary of decisions and discussions, major topics, themes, anything important, milestones, achievements related that were discussed. I'm also extracting frequently asked questions, which is really useful if we want to update the docs. You know, not everything makes its way to a GitHub issue or, you know, like a pull request to update it. So I have a ton of frequently asked questions that were asked in Discord that may have never made it into the docs. And imagine this, like we use all of that data and feed it into an AI agent to eventually help onboard new devs, help them troubleshoot stuff. Similar FAQ, if it got asked, they have all of this context already in there. So I see this as a huge time saver for us as we scale. Who helped who? Really excited about this one because I'm um, extracting, you know, with uh, sentiment analysis, who is helping and if that help was successful. And I'm getting the uh, Discord names as well um, and just being very context specific so that it can be helpful for the docs as well as uh, for future retro public goods funding. And we'll get into that right after. And so this also helps us identify pain points and identify the people who are contributing. You know, it's like you're, if you're not on Discord and you're just kind of chatting and helping answer questions on Discord, a lot of that value doesn't always get captured. And this is a way to capture that value that people are providing every day. You know, I see people helping out in a coder's channel all the time. And I want to find a, a way for us to um, reward people in the loop constantly that, you know, and this, this leads to basically the vision of open source development, uh, feeling like a video game. And then action items. I'm extracting concrete items, tasks, and anything pending kind of breaking it into uh, subcategories, which might be useful for work groups. And so, you know, technical tasks, documentation needs, future requests, community tasks, etc. cetera. So um, yeah, you know, like for example, technical, it's like fix this, you know, documentation, maybe nothing that day. Um, this can also be useful for maybe a AI agent who is helping project manage stuff or um, we can have something kind of verify. I want to do something where it's also got the GitHub client integrated. So it checks if there's a pull request or issue closed or open for that already, just to verify. Um, okay, next, um, an airdrop. The last month obviously has been explosive growth and a lot of people have contributed and we haven't had time to really like reward all those people they, it was just kind of natural organic incentivization because you know like we all bought a bag and so we're kind of working for our bags but i also want to find a way to you know it's not always transactional some people it's um reputation or status but it can also be an airdrop you know so i created a spreadsheet and i also created a point system i'm not going to get too into it because um could be gamed but essentially uh, um, I've got some weighted scoring about who is helping um, who is engaging in terms of asking questions and also getting reactions in terms of emojis to kind of help identify 
um, useful feedback. And I also got a lot of data from GitHub. And so this spreadsheet contains uh, both um, GitHub and Discord contributors. And I would like for us to kind of discuss and review this. This isn't like final. I only kind of captured, for example, the, the Eliza repo. Um, and I don't have a way of really kind of uh, attributing um, addresses to this list, although we do have a tip bot that we can just kind of tip people from Discord. But uh, yeah, I'm, I gathered a bunch of data for us to do an airdrop, and um, let's, let's talk about that. And, you know, on that point, um, you know, as a DAO, it's, you know, like, who is the official team? Who is, you know, working on what? Um, I'm working on a contributor profile page. I'm not really a good front-end designer. I just kind of wanted to get something to visualize the idea. Uh, and you can see it in my fork of the docs where it's, uh, it's up on GitHub and I'll link it in a chat. And I'm just using this based on um, fetching data from the repo about who is contributing. And you know how we have these weekly spaces of what did you get done this week? People can use this as well to remind themselves. Like I remember Loaf, he was like, man, what did I do? I did so much. And he could just kind of view his profile and just see it, just kind of like um, a stats page, you know, on a MMO. And I would love for, you know, to combine this data with Discord data or, you know, some LLM summarization to also just kind of give a brief of like what people worked on that week. And so I think this has a lot of potential uh, for like a, uh, alternative to a team page where it's kind of like the video game uh, leaderboard and so right now it's uh, just kind of chilling in the community section of the docs uh, in my fork um, we can integrate it into the docs um, and yeah you can check out what people have been doing in discord and later we can in combine it with um, or github yeah we can combine those two data sets and so uh, also, um, I have summaries that you can check out and just take a look at what kinds of uh, insights that we're able to extract. I know this isn't like the um, best way to kind of keep up to date. So think of this as like I'm extracting all of the raw data from GitHub and Discord and I'm creating Doe. And each of these, you know, we can knead it and bake it into more di digestible formats. So in terms of fu future integration ideas, I've got a team of um, seasoned game devs who are working on a virtual show format. So imagine instead of processing things in kind of like uh, this, they convert it into screenplay or script that you have like an anchor broadcasting the daily activities of the DAO, um, a dashboard and feed that just seems like the obvious step. Um, you know, what is happening in terms of uh, AI agents deployed, GitHub contributors, Discord news, Twitter feeds, the agents themselves, bounties, everything, you know? So, and um, I worked on some stuff over the summer where I also like created an expo so imagine instead of like viewing these one by one, there's like a museum of all of them side by side, and you can kind of see things from a high level. So that's just a, another way of kind of unbundling all of this. Um, but also we can summarize things per week, you know, so you just kind of take all these notes and then you can ask Claude, you know, like what did the, the, uh, what the, uh, the, the DAO do uh, that day? or that week, you know? So think of this as ingredients for us to help gather higher level insights about our daily activities. Yes, you can click, it's fine. Um, and yeah, the next thing is codifying these things uh, with HATS protocol for, for roles. Um, and, uh, you know, 
work groups and whatnot to kind of create uh, more agency within certain initiatives that we have. But I, uh, you know, I'll get into that later. Um, I've got some really cool ideas, you know, how we basically train AI agents uh, within these work groups. And I just need to have this infrastructure down first so that, you know, the we're on the same page as the AI agents also, you know, like I want to create human readable um, ways of staying up to date because the AI agents, they can listen to all the channels and kind of stay up to date just from raw data. But I want to also make it human readable, you know, so that we are in lockstep with them. So, uh, yeah, that's what I've been working on at a high level. And I'm down for uh, answering any questions. Folks have any. I've got a demo here. And, yeah, all of this is kind of running locally. I'm not using cloud APIs for processing any of the uh, raw um, chat logs. Um, but uh, it's in a private repo at the moment. I will perhaps like open source just the uh, summarization tools because I think it'd be really useful if um, you know other uh, projects were able to use this because it really kind of helps to automate and streamline uh, communications, right? Is Dejan Spartan AI running an LLM against chat logs? Dejan Spartan, the AIs are you know if they can read a channel. Um, that's already kind of going into their memory. Uh, but think of this, you could kind of like shotgun blast um, all the AIs from a knowledge base. You know, these are all markdown files. And a lot of work this week has been done on improving the knowledge in, um, system in ELISA. So uh, yeah, there are some people that are working on basically like taking a knowledge base and then creating an AI agent uh, interface on top of that. So um, I don't think DGen is going to be the best assistant. I, I feel like we should have an AI agent that um, has a personality that's very helpful or conducive to, yeah, assisting people. Um, how, when can we try this out? OK, so like I do have summaries on my, uh, I'm, I, and I'm working on merging this with the official docs. Um, but I think the best interface for us to really interact with this would be an AI agent uh, slash like a uh, show. So uh, I did kind of briefly talk about it. Shop. And so this is like a really, really early kind of preview slash prototype. But um, yeah, this, we're, we're working on kind of scaffolding uh, infrastructure for AI TV in a way. But, you know, that's also kind of the point. I'm trying to keep overhead low. So it's not like you have to be like uh, manually driving these things. They're just kind of passively uh, helping us along the way in terms of communications and what's happening. I'll, I'll provide the YouTube link to partners. I'll, how about that? Because it's, uh, it's kind of um, early to share publicly, the AI TV stuff. How's this checked for consistency? Okay, so that's a good question. I think, you know, like for example, in the coders chat, maybe it was a really busy day and that we need to tune the frequency to like summarize every six hours or so. So I think a way to kind of improve um, just the overall pipeline is that if there's a lot of messages that we have more summarization and um yeah that could be done by just kind of adding a, some additional loops and into it you know how like you might um upload a transcript of a space to cloud and it doesn't capture all the notes and that you ask it you know it for like anything that it missed and it gives you more notes same thing kind of happens here 
And so, uh, yeah, you can imagine maybe it's um, from the raw data, we can have the, you know, multiple agents taking notes. One of them could be like a general summary. One of them could be the uh, writer's room, screenplay writer. One of them could be maybe someone checking the list against um, some sources of truth, things like that. And also, yeah, this would be really useful to just like, let me just see if I, uh, I don't really have it on. Do I have it here? Yes, I do. Yeah, so this could be really useful if you are, um, using something like code to prompt you could uh let me just see if i could do this real quick you could just grab all the notes um from for example coders and then we'll be able to extract a bunch of insights all in one um asking you know things like frequently asked questions, etc. cetera. Um, if you were to do that on raw chat logs, it'd be too, uh, too big for the context window. But yeah, I think this can really help us uh, speed up writing about, you know, what we've been working on and, um, you know, just helping to automate the DAO further. Uh, so it's semi-automated at the moment. Yeah, a notebook LM style would be awesome. And that's another thing, you know, that I just kind of demonstrated here. I could just take all the kind of summaries per channel and you could just kind of create a podcast or, you know, like uh, maybe for all relevant channels, like maybe discussions and coders and etc. cetera. Um, drop it into notebook LM, create a podcast. Uh, or this can be auto-generated all locally, you know, don't even have to use Notebook LLM. We could um, tweak the script. I don't know if I can share some of that. I'll share a little bit of things here, like, um, whoops. Um, Here's some data about some points. Let me let me get some interesting parts about uh, the chat summarizer without leaking too much. Okay. Yeah, so here's some of the prompts and this could be like a part where we could tweak it. Like imagine you have a command line flag for like summary output and then maybe a command line flag for a storyboard or script output or from a certain perspective like um, what happened today that's relevant towards my work group's interests you know and so you can filter some of these uh, uh, summaries um, and if we are uh, building AI led DAO uh, I would imagine we have AI agents that have a set of goals, expectations, responsibilities, and then they can kind of filter the chat logs from that perspective and help guide those work groups towards the same direction, you know, for the uh, overall DAO. So we're kind of training them, but they're also helping guide us as well. And I can um, get into some of the TL draw stuff in a bit, uh, how this relates to that. Let me bring that up. Okay. 
So this is kind of the uh, mock-up for TL draw for HATS protocol setup. And so, you know, like per work group, um, such as for designers or uh, people working on um, writing, you know, the AI agent would also have the same expectations and rules, which uh, when equipping a hat, you would you could cryptographically accept an agreement. And this kind of gives you the full rundown of what that hat uh, does and what uh, powers it unlocks. And I guess, you know, imagine like the uh, agent is your intern and it's programmed on the same um, sort of agreements so that we're all kind of like in sync and it helps you take notes uh, and also extract insights from the chat logs uh, and um, it helps us to uh, just keep things more organized but less uh, manually you know because it's a lot to just take notes and we should be dog fooding AI agents um, from the ground up until you know eventually they can just kind of help run the ship Any other questions or comments? Boom here is uh, helping with uh, Boom. I will give you a quick overview later. I'll AI summarize the uh, recording. Um, but Boom is helping out with the broadcast, uh, you know, of daily DAO activities. So he'll be sharing more of that stuff in the Discord later. Role-playing game simulates an org, many classes. Um, no, I do have ideas for classes and stuff. They're all over here in terms of inspiration. We deploy this on Sepolia with hat safes. Uh, I'm not sure what chain yet, but it is going to be, you know, an L2, so you don't pay a lot of gas. Yeah, for those that are late and catching up, that's kind of the point of what I worked on. You know, it's like, how can we summarize and keep people synced, but like make that less of one person's job, you know, as a communicator and more of like a dashboard interface, you know, where we can kind of summarize daily things, uh, activities, conversations, who is doing what uh, across Discord and GitHub. So I went through all that. I'll uh, end the recording.